Mill gets access to some of the most powerful cards in modern and so many of them just come up clutch here where we have cards like visions of beyond here that just get to draw us three straight cards allowing us to play ancestral we have veil of summer in this build that allows us to play some green for some great anti-black nonsense and then honestly just great free spells like archive trap just win us so many games i do want to ask you pardon me for some slight misplays at the end of the league that don't end up punishing us but we end off in great fashion in game five and when you see a hand that's just awful this is uh there's one of them right here um there's a little better uh we'll run this drop of visions on the draw keep a keep a field of ruin in case we need to get there with it let's see here we're playing no no veils in the main that's a post board thing opponent keeps a seven on their main thinking about how to play this island the mirror the mirror i'm not ready i'm not ready i'm actually not ready future shaft here you're gonna see the game going in the background so please feel free to just pause through but my opponent takes forever to do anything like as you're gonna see where the clock lands up i'm probably giving you some beginning of the game and then i'm gonna give you some clips at the end here but this game was largely a fast forward it was the biggest waste of my time in this league and took up like half an hour of my life for nothing um you'll see that we end up getting there but oh had to fast forward on this one that's the tricky part um i don't get to like fetch for free or anything like that so that is one thing i have to be worried about legendary spell two i mean we took out our jaces but you know legendary spell two i wonder can you tails end an otawara trigger like, like the channel ability on otawara is that an activated ability someone in the youtube comments let me know at this point someone in the youtube comments let me know at this point but that's it that's if y'all are hearing this because this was the most painful game of magic that i've played in a hot minute there is just no back and forth here opponent taking 10 years to do anything i mean at least this doesn't enable visions for them let's say that and they'll probably fetch aggressively i can archive trap them um they can drown it if they want type of thing like i don't know opponent but i gotta remember to archive trap them at end step because they can visions so i don't want them to visions into like a crab and then i'm just top decking honestly at this point with three lands any top deck is good i say that but then i'm gonna draw archive trap truly any top deck is good <sighs> that's what i mean every couple of triggers opponent takes up a whole minute doing nothing you can just pass through i don't know at this point it, it just it can't be internet connection right uh we're gonna put that into the graveyard actually i genuinely don't want that like i can't rely on my opponent to mill me here that's the thing i can't rely on my opponent to actually mill me based on their hand all right decorn all right decorn is this what it's like playing against streamers <laughs> like are they like taking three years to make decisions three years to make decisions jace the perfected mine that does work that does work i will say they, they will get you know uh i think you want to mill yourself but okay i mean fractured sanity is not a bad surgical target uh, and then they can visions if they want i think i don't know i don't know it, i i think it's it was i think you should have just fetched targeted yourself uh that's fine yeah i think you should have just fetched targeted yourself with the jace you draw three cards your visions draw three more i don't know that's what it would have done in that situation my you know like I, I i think we need some some quick answers here they took out the fractured sanity which is which is kind of annoying um but that's okay uh they know we have the archive trap so hopefully they're a bit more scared to fetch just in general so they play the polluted delta they play the surgical extraction beautiful 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 um at this point uh i love this because we're gonna take their visions of beyond i'm gonna take their visions what do they draw i think they just pass priority here casting visions on draw step to to fight the extra pay no 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 we're gonna i want to take your visions of beyond so we're gonna neuter their ability to to really catch up what am i doing yeah we're gonna neuter their ability to catch up that's the idea here i 
So this should stop them. Of course, it's not mill spells, but look at them. They just have like pure answers, right? It's just pure answers. We managed to kind of take everything out else out. Um, see what happens here. Yeah, I mean, like, I, I don't, I don't quite understand what they're really going to be doing here at this point, but, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, so their, yeah, their hand is these four cards. So they don't want to fetch. They can only uptick on the Jace, which is, well, not only. It's just like, do they want to mill me for four? Um, I don't mind getting a basic. You definitely don't want to ghost quarter me here. Yep, go for the throat, hold up tails end type of thing. Like that, and then they're going to, yeah, 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 yeah. Should I just start swinging? <laughs> Should I just start swinging? Thing I have to be worried about is fetch lands, but there you go. Just raw land drops. Beautiful. Just raw land drops. That's great. We already, again, the visions are out um, from their hand, which is great. Fractured Sandy is gone. And we're just, look at this. We're just milling like really good spells at this point. Yeah, you definitely, you, that's the thing. You definitely don't want to ghost quarter me because that's not in your, in your benefit at all. Honestly, even if they archive trap me, I, I don't really mind. It's just like the, like, that's like one card, like the landfall, I feel like goes so much farther, but let's see what happens here. Pony got 10 minutes left on the clock. Oh, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I feel like I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna audio in and I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I'm just gonna audio it in and be like, look, folks. This game was absolutely just a waste of massive time. All right, there, there you go. There you go. All right. You know, some top decks, some top decks. Top decks and top frets. Okay, yeah, they're going to they're going to try and get Jace up. They're going to try and get Jace up here. And they're going to try and draw some cards. You definitely don't want to fetch. Don't do that. Don't do that opponent. Um, but I also want to make it so if they draw cards like they gotta pay for it type of thing. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Unfortunate though. They can they can tails on this, unfortunate, but oh well. Might as well just get it out of their hand, honestly. Yeah. So I'll, I'll fetch this now. I might as well just get it out of their hand. So I'm I'm making them commit actions like on their turn. That's the idea here. Yeah. So tails end right now. Um, that way right now, based on their hand, if they wanted to cast a uh, like some type of I don't know, I, I can't even remember if I saw Tasha's in their in their deck still. I'm pretty sure it was. But if they wanted to cast like blue, 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 like a three cost spell, like they would have to fetch. Oh, Lord. All right. You know, uptick with Jace it's getting a little dangerous here. It's getting a little truly, truly getting a little dangerous here. Okay, I'm going to draw three cards. Fair enough. What do they want to do here? Do they have another kill spell? Oh, that hurts. That hurts, that hurts, that hurts. All right, fair enough, fair enough. They managed to find a way to catch up here. They have like eight minutes left in play. I don't know. They could very well beat me. They could very well beat me. Just it would take them 10 years to do so. Yeah. So there goes my there goes my archive traps, which is kind of annoying, but let's see what happens here. There goes my archive traps. Okay, so they have nothing to find, which is great to see. Um just confirming that, yeah, fails to find island or mountain. That's kind of nice. question is do they have an archive trap do i want to feed that archive trap the one two one two three ah they could they could let's take the dark slick shores all right let's take the dark slick shores because this is exact lethal right 
right? I was like, I was thinking like, do they have a couple? But then, yeah, I mean, this is fine. This is fine. They kind of need to, they kind of need to kill a crab right now. But I figured if they had the answer to that, they would have just done it now. Um, but they can't though. See, this is the thing. They create blue. They don't have an island. They've, they've demonstrated they don't have an island. Um, I'm going to field of ruin it here. Oh Lord. I think I'm just going to forward this. If I win here, I'm just fast forwarding this win. Um, cause this is just like, this is just empty space. This game like really doesn't mean anything. I might just bring it up to here and just showcase how this was just empty space. But I really hope I can win it here. This is this is so annoying. This is a complete waste of my time. Like truly a complete waste of my time. Holy. Folks, play faster. Like actually just play faster. All right. <laughs> okay. Well, it, it, I, I fast forwarded the game. You're here. Holy. Don't be wasting people's time like this. That was so frustrating. God awful game. I'm happy to be on the play okay not into that hand <laughs> hey yo all right much better much better um we'll keep this and we'll drop the undercity sewers because we can fetch for that um i will definitely just be playing out the crab here because i have a ton of good turn two plays here hopefully no no death on the crab that'd be nice um see here no death on the crab no death on the crab that'd be great then we can go you know ruin crab fetch under city sewers maybe try and set up a land that'd be great that would be great okay so um hi you what do you got for me sea chrome coast all right no removal i'm a fan sea chrome coast though this i don't know what decks are playing sea chrome coast like truly what decks are playing sea chrome coast all right i found my third land so i'm not i'm not too pressed so i'll, I'll still undercity sewers um but I, I might just fetch on their turn visible stalker cauldron complete what type of what type of uh thing package is this what type of stoneforge deck is this Marsh Flats makes me believe this is some type of blue, some type of Esper, but I'll, I'll leave myself open. I'll leave myself open. Just wanted to force some action. Oh, it's just, oh, it's just Hammer. It's just, folks, come on. It's been so long since I played this match. No Tasha's though. No Tasha's though. I will say that. It's been so long since I played this matchup that I didn't even recognize it. All right. Hammer it is. At least we got a Fatal Push on top. So that's a big win there. Uh, we can keep Fatal Push and we can hold up thing here. Yeah. Uh, they don't have a way to get anything with haste though. So I'm wondering if I just fractured sanity. It might, it might just be better just to like aggress the point here. Uh, we definitely want a watery grave so that we can, so we have two black, right? And then they don't get protection from the fractured sanity. So that's kind of nice there. I, th I think I do just want to get aggressive here. I don't think there's a way they one shot me next turn. Uh, yeah, sure. Spell, you know what? Spell pierce on the mill spell, um, uh, much better. I, th I think spell pierce on the mill spell is much better. So our crabs are still able to push their point. Um, and then we can, you know, that that's a spell pierce, not hitting our push, not hitting our drown. So that's good. I'll take that for what it is. Take that for what it is. So uh, I like the multiple sagas. These are lands that eventually disappear. But uh, let's see what happens here. So they don't have mana for pure steel. Cigar to say doesn't help at this point. They need like a straight attach or something like that. So on their upkeep, I'm going to fatal push the Thopter. Uh, or no, I fatal push the... Let's see. They, so they'll activate here. Right. So I'll cast this here. So this loses flying. So I, I can chump. It's just I don't need that thing swinging at me. 
Yeah, th this loses flying. So will they create just another token here? That's the question. Like, how much non-action do they have in their hand? Surge of Salvation. Really unfortunate that we don't have Tasha's, but it just means that we don't go that route. Um, I don't think this is a Veil of Summer matchup. Like, yes, they play, like, truly, yes, they play uh, Spell Pierce, but, um, like, what else am I really holding that for? Vis Visible Stalker? That's, that's a meme in itself. Um... I'm wondering if I should drown that now, but okay, ages. Have a million things to do. Um Yep. So I mean they gotta work to a pure steel paladin here, so kinda just wanna hold up the counter, be patient. Otawara. Should I be milling or holding that down? I think I should hold this down. Truly, I think I should hold this down. I think I should hold the Otoara down. That's actually a very powerful piece right now. That's generally an uninteractable source um, that we have that freely answers this construct token, might I add. So, yeah, very freely answers this construct token. I'm gonna just use use it for mana. Okay, all right. Hey, what are we tutoring for? We still got tutor options. We still got tutor options. Shadow Spear is gone. Yeah, no more. No more options. I like that. I like that. Oh, no, they got Gingerbread. What am I saying? That's just like on the field. Like I'm like literally my I'm like blind to like in the field. Uh, can't be blocked. Sure. Okay. Okay. Oh, right, can't be blocked. Um, okay, take five, uh, six, sorry. It's not a problem. Uh, I think I'm gonna ultawara the token. Sure, it's a land drop, but we can get rid of it right now. So they're not making a token next turn. Unfortunate. Does this force them to search? It forces them to search, so they fail to find, but my archive trap still works. That's good. So they, lo they lose a land here, which is actually huge. Yeah, they lose a land here, which is actually huge. And this archive trap is pretty much lethal here. Uh, ornithopter, I guess. Yeah, okay. So what do they do here? They're down a land. They're down a land. They're pretty much just trying to hold up Spell Pierce, which, I mean, I can pay for with the trap. You gotta, you gotta swing in. I mean, I'm happy you reduced the counter of your deck here. <laughs> okay. Uh, so they have the Cryptic Coat, Visible Stalker, Sword of Fire and Ice seems pretty good in this world. All right, begin sideboarding. All right. So we get to do some fun stuff. We get to do some fun stuff. So Damnation. Bridge, Crypt, maybe Extirpates if we can fill it. Or is Extirpate really that necessary? Or like, is Thing really that necessary? Uh, mission Briefing. Uh, Spell Pierce a little weaker on the draw, I'll be honest. Still, still viable though. I think I just want removal. I wonder if we really need it that bad. Could just shave preordains. Run it like this. Um, they will actively. I mean, I don't know. I, I feel like they will actively be searching the library uh, with sagas out, enable with fields. Uh, Visions is kind of like the non-bow with bridge. That's always the thing that that hits me. It's kind of the non-bow. I'll bring in the the thing. actually funny enough the thing i have to worry about truly the thing i have to worry about truly the thing i have to worry about is emercool yeah now that i think about it okay so i'll yeah i'll bring in land i'll bring in two lanterns i'll bring in two lanterns i got a crypt 
truly Emrakul is is what I kind of have to worry about here. I actually do like the double archive trap here. I, I have no way to punish an Emrakul, but uh, if they don't have it, it kind of just kind of just gets in their face. So that is kind of nice. They brought in 67 cards, brought in seven more cards straight, and they had a keepable seven. What a sad life we lead. What a sad life we lead. Truly, 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 what a sad life we lead. All right. Get ourselves a watery grave. Play a crab. We can fractured sanity. We have multiple looks at trying to find a third land to which we can hopefully slam a, a bridge. Bridge can get answered. Okay, good. So those archive traps will be good at some point here. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens from our opponent. Esper Santanel. What's going on from the Santanel? All right. Springleaf Drum. Orny. Big Orny. Got two mana. Okay. No, no combatu. No combats. No combats. Uh. I don't think I play crab here. Well, I'm being greedy with my extra pate. Yeah, I think... Yeah, maybe I don't play my crab here. See how greedy we can get with our extra pate. Can't get that greedy. Okay, I will take pure steel, though. Uh, it, it might... It, it might be worth it. It might be worth it. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. We're here to take the hammer. Truly, we're here to take the hammer. Ample garden. Oh, yikes. What does that green mean? Like, actually, what does that green mean? Okay, we'll cycle fractured. Please just give me a third land. Please, 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 please just give me a third land. That'd be fantastic. There's, there's a Colossus hammer. Beauty. So we can really switch up the game here. Oh baby, oh baby, hold on now. Oh baby, hold on now. You're gonna search anyway. The question is, okay, play the crab, play the crab, play the crab. I I'll I'll play the bridge after. Play the crab. Play the crab. Because I'm gonna I'm just gonna ruin their ability to to search for something. That's fine. They can create a they can create a token. They can create massive tokens if they want. That's fine. Go to their draw, and then we will extirpate the Colossus Hammer. And then we can triple archive trap them. Um I don't actually mind paying this. So I do want to minimize the resources they have right now because we're at kind of that turning point type of turn. This will really inform also if I can. Uh, this will also really inform if I want to archive trap or not. This will really inform this decision. Okay, so they do. They have a surge of salvation, which does help them, right? Uh, gaining hexproof until the end of turn. So I want to cast these one at a time. Really look through for this Ember Cool. I don't see it. Okay, I think we might just win here. Okay, so one of my archive traps will not be going through. One of them. One of them will not be going through. What's nice is... Uh... Okay. Okay. So in this case, they'll create another thing. I'll be able to sna a slam and staring bridge, and it's pretty much game from there. Pretty much game from there. Yeah. I mean, again, the Springleaf Drum allows them to cast it. So that is one thing I have to be aware of. Uh, Shadow Spear, completely fair. Uh, okay. Happy to take six here. Right. 
So I don't want to pass through anything. Just, just undoing all my auto passes, just in case here. It's really just what they want to do. But this pretty much just confirms it. Yeah, so we're just going to do this, right? Right, and then hit you with another one. So cast the Surge, right? You gain Hexproof, that's fine. So that'll, that'll kind of undo that. Yep. Happily take the six. It's not a problem. They have 17 cards left. That, that archive trap pretty much would have been lethal there. There you go. A little bit of patience goes a long way. So don't want to cast that just yet. Just going to slam bridge and, and make everything. Sure, draw your card. Just going to slam bridge and make everything un, not attack. That's the idea here. We should, I mean, now, now with an active bridge, um, and all like now with an active bridge and all the things gone here, um, I mean, they, they could attack with, with ornithopters, right? Like they can attack with these, uh, like they can attach shadow spear, which is a legitimate clock. So it's, it's a very legitimate clock. Uh, I'm very scared to visions here because I don't want to enable too much, but I do have time. If they, if they go the shadow spear route, I, I do have time. Uh, Stoneforge. Do you still have Cauldra? Is Cauldra? No, Cauldra's gone. Sophie. Ooh. Yikes. Sophie's a thing. Mm. It's, eh, you know, like. Eh, okay. All right. Um, yeah. Sophie's like kind of a thing. Sophie's like half a thing. Uh, I'm happy to just knock out two bridges here. Because anything that you attach Sophie to can't attack yeah any yeah anything that you attach sophie to can't attack at this point right and double bridge essentially seals this i think in my opinion like it's really up for like up to me to mess this one up because uh they like uh, they're, they're not gonna have like destroy all artifacts that's not a thing this deck wants to play uh if it wasn't very obvious so if it was it's single target and now they have to deal with two so I mean, they're still in this game. It's just that Sophie might have been their only target and just not the best best card right now. Just not the best card right now. Just realize my uh, my thing is is holding uh, is is over. My my camera is is over. So let me just decrease the size of that just a bit. There you go. Opponent. Yeah. You may cast. Yeah, I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> like, okay, uh, sure. Yeah. Oh, right, 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 right. This works. Right. Okay. Right. Because how would they bring it in? And they're activating Stoneforge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Um, but it does prevent it from uh, attacking in the future. So they they get a single swing. Um, they're gonna get some damage in. That's fine. Just that's not well. Let's see what happens. Visions is kind of just the worst card we have right now. So. Visions is kind of the worst card we have right now. So they're going to deal two damage to a crab, probably. I don't think they're going to aggress me. Yeah, they're going to deal two damage to a crab. Because they don't want to lose the game off of fetch land. Right? Which is one thing I could have gone for last turn. Oh, well, oh, well. Oh, well. Got this out. They got some cards in there. Uh, the question is how how deep I want to go with this. Okay, let's visions. Why not? Um, let's say no. Draw your card. Got a bunch of cards in graveyard. I actually like if they spell pierce this. I don't mind. I'll just let it get countered. It's the best. It's the best thing in the world if this gets spell pierced. Like truly, truly the best thing in the world. But oh well. <sighs> Opponent probably deep in thought about whether or not they should spell pierce this. But oh well. Oh well. Oh well. Kind of wish I had collective brutality. 
kind of wish I had collected brutality, but well. Uh, surgical extraction. Okay. Uh, not on fractured sanity is an interesting call. Surgical extraction. I didn't even notice this was in their deck. I actually like genuinely did not notice that was in their deck. All right. Yeah, exiled two. All right. Fair enough. I mean, I mean, fair enough. Fair enough. You might as well grab a crop. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Um, all right. Let's play around the fact that they don't have a surge of salvation. Let's see if they fetch an end step or something like that, then, you know, if they have the surge, uh, yeah, see, I'm going to do this now. <laughs> you just got God. That's, uh, that's the game right there. That's I, you, you cannot possibly win at this point with, with no Amarquil, you cannot possibly win. I'm at 42 life. Have fun. Sure. Have fun. Right, 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 right. You got God. Opponent, you got God. All right, so you just, you got God. I just, you you cannot possibly win. Your your hammers are gone. There's no coming back from this one. There's no coming back from this one. Let's see what happens. Opponent, opponent, opponent. Saga comes down. This measly, this feeble attempt, this feeble attempt at attempting to win the game. Pure Steel Paladin. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Equip has zero. I mean, all right. Going for a tie. I just whatever. Like I'm. I'm not blocking my crabs. I'm not blocking. Look, I, I'm. I'm. I'm playing a land a turn. I'm doing some fun stuff. That's what I'm doing right now. You. You can. I, I don't even know what you're gonna get in with that stone forge. Sure. The, this mandatory draw is like the best thing in the world, right? I guess I should block because I'm taking free damage. Yeah, the Sophie is just going to like... There's no way the Sophie is dealing two damage to me. Oh, no, opponent. Do you have like another surge? Is that what this is? Oh, no. Oh, no, opponent. Oh, no. Not again. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> Not again. Oh, no. So if they surge me here, so be it. Oh, they don't. Oh, they don't. Oh, they don't. Oh, they don't, opponent. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not like this. The mill matchup. Not like this. Not like this. I really should grab my black source, but all right. GG's. We're 2 and 0. Oh. Let's go. Game three, game three on the play again. Uh, yeah. All right. I mean, I, I open up with a preordain. Pretty good. Uh, mission briefing, not exactly available to me. So maybe I should save it. Maybe I should save it. Maybe I should sewers first. Ah, that's a, let's leave the pipe dreams for later. Ah, let's leave the pipe dreams for later. Uh, you, pff, truly, truly both are fine. Truly both are fine. Actually, I, I don't mind. I don't mind. Like, I, I'm, I'm not exactly like aggro milling them, but you know, you know, spell pierce isn't that bad. All right. Commercial district coming out untapped. Oh, you're killing me. You're killing me. You're killing me. This matchup. I can't preordain. Uh, this would be under city sewers. Seems like a bad card. Truly. All right. Yeah, let's put the fatal push away. All right. All right. All right. Little, you know, some amount of reanimator. I, I, I got to lock in for this one. Got to lock in a bit for this one. Let's see here. And a fetch. No surgicals main. Unfortunate. This would have been, uh, this would have been a matchup where if I had surgical, if this spell pierce was a surgical, I'm pretty sure th it would have just ended right here. But, uh, Okay, they're going to force me to have it, I guess. I Like, I have to counter this, right? I, 
I feel like I have to counter this. Like, yeah, they got an Archon in there, but... I don't know. This allows me to mission briefing and spell pierce, which I kind of need to just hold up at this point. I kind of need to just hold that up at this point. The creativity. How do you get those goblin tokens in? Not those goblins, those dwarf tokens. Yeah, I kind of I kind of need to. Yeah, I kind of need to hold this up. All right, 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 all right. Mission briefing, kind of, kind of doing something here. I'm not gonna lie. Kind of doing something here. Um, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna have to be losing to that, isn't it? Uh, yeah, bring that in tapped. I don't I don't even know how good of a veil of summer matchup this is. Like, actually, I mean, if they don't go off, right? This is a sorcery, right? If they if they don't go off. Uh, Dwarven Mind's condition is three, so now they could do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. They draw two, discard two. If, if they don't do anything here, I can feel the ruin into another blue source and then really stop limiting myself, but I kind of need to hold up Spell Pierce by the looks of it. Molten Collapse. Yes, yeah. Very not great right now. Very, very not great. Uh, create Treasure Tokens. Yep. Seems good. Seems good. Seems good. Seems good. Yep. Gonna go for it. Oh. Oh. What? We gonna go for it. Seismic assault? Huh? Uh, seismic assault is kind of crazy. Let's, let's not, let's not. Okay. Seismic assault is okay. All right. Seismic assault is a magic card. I, I will say that seismic assault is a man is, is a magic card. Look, I, I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. I actually like, I genuinely don't know. Yo, what am I? What am I looking at right now? What is going on? Okay. Seismic Assault is a magic card. Oh, uh, wow. All right. All right. Um, I can mission briefing into an archive trap, which I think might be valuable here. Maybe set up some stuff here. Yeah, let's let's mission briefing into an archive trap. That spell pierce just gets worse and worse. Uh, graveyard. Yeah, gra truly graveyard. Uh, let's. Yeah, and then let's hit you with that. Right. And then we can untap. We can preordain. Oh lordy lord. Okay, I mean, I guess, I guess that works. I guess that works into something. I'm pretty much just going all in on them here, like just forcing them to have it. Um just truly just forcing them to have it at this point. Okay. You don't. Well, I mean, you have the you have the token maker, so Um, all right, you're at five cards. I, look, I truly don't know what's going on right now. Like, so they have 15 damage right now. If they, so they can loam, they can dredge loam. They have three lands in hand. They can dredge loam to three more. Well, they can't actually, because I took out their green source. Well, no, well, they can attack with the goblin shaman. Yeah. Okay. So they can dredge loam. Um, they can dredge loam cast it. That's six lands to be discarded. They have one more. They have lethal. That's that's what I got. That's what I got. Yeah, that's truly that's what I got. 
Yeah. Truly, that's what I got. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we take three, go to 14. 12 damage. If they have if they have seven lands, it's lethal. All seven of their cards, or not all seven, not at this one, but if they have seven lands instead of six, um, they have lethal. Because Seismic Loam is crazy. Or Seismic Assault is, is well, Seismic Loam, but that is that is insane. That is truly, truly something different. You have a Bolt? Bolt works too, actually. Yeah. Yeah, Bolt works too. Okay. Um, okay. You, you have lethal. All right. Yeah, I, I, I tried. I tried. I tried. I tried. I tried. Um, I don't think this is good enough. Uh, I think this is extirpate, crypt, and, and this. I think it's I think it's all of this. I can drop a mission briefing. I really don't like that. Uh, we can drop visions of beyond because of all the graveyard hate we're bringing in. Is crypt incursion actually really that good at all? I don't think so. No, it's actually it's actually really not that great. Um, and then we can drop one Jace for potentially being too slow. But that's it, right? Like we 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 have to get rid of their yard for for the loam, right? I I have to seismic assault is not what I was expecting in this day and age. Seismic assault is not what I was expecting in this day and age. This league taking this long is also like really frustrating. I just, I mean, I'll, I'll tell you what though, playing three games of magic within like an hour is, is something, but, um, okay. Sure. Um, I don't, I don't really want to show them the breeding pool. I, it doesn't really matter since I'm not bringing in veil. It, it, it honestly doesn't even really matter. I might as well just play mind games with them. Like, I actually might as well just be playing mind games with them. I don't want to fatal push anything. Uh, let's play as tapped. Yeah. It's like nothing I really want to extirpate. Well, unless unless they go district into, into thing. If they go district into thing, though, I'd rather just like... I'd rather just extirpate the the sorcery, I think. Or no, I would just extirpate the, the creature itself because that would be... Because it would, it would kind of invalidate um, the thing. Commercial district, starting things off. All right. Nothing to put into the yard. I like that. All right. So our opponent just going to get a good whiff of some mill here. A good whiffle mill right now. Okay. Uh, let's, just, let's just see if I can respond. Turn the earth. It's a magic card. Um, shock this in. I right, got to... I expect it. There's the Archon. There's the Archon. Go to their draw. What do they want to do? They want to dredge loam. That's perfectly fair. We're going to hit the Archon. I honestly could just hit loam here, but I, I think just let's just set our stops here. Uh, Seismic Assault is coming down. Perfect. So that's that's that part of the issue gone right now they're just gonna try and loan me because engraved by the owner of those cards shuffles them into their libraries yo what that sucks i hate that card that's gonna that's gonna give them a little bit of staying power a little bit of staying power we're, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to mill them a couple times here type of thing but that's okay turn the earth okay yeah it's just that's fine that's fine that's fine okay uh, I mean, if they if they start being able to cast them on the front end, that's going to be annoying, but it's okay. It's okay. It is interesting. It is interesting. I, I will say. So no no loam off the rip here. Um, there is a life from the loam in there. Extra paid off the top. Can't have everything. Can't have everything. Uh, let's go island. And keep milling you. Keep milling you. So the, the problematic thing is gone. They will just go loam and then like, um, I, I think they just go seismic loam here and then just, um, yeah, they just, they just kind of discard a land and, and kill my crab. Uh, they definitely just discard like the bloodstained mire, I think. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter what they discard, honestly. They could do anything. 
to their to their heart's desire. They can do anything to their heart's desire here. Um, yep. Seismic Assault is just with Loam. It is a slow engine, I will say, but the turn the earth does make it kind of annoying. I guess eventually I'll hard cast this or something. So one of these is gone. Yeah. Just eventually. I don't even want to call it that slow, but losing to seismic assault. Not something I thought I would, that would happen in 2024, but I'm happy for it to happen, I guess. I guess. Are yeah. I guess. Use life from the loan. Yep. So you have one, two. Uh, you have 10 damage. Okay. Well, less than that now. Okay. Um. Okay. So the thing is, is if we can get them low enough to the point where they can't dredge, well, that doesn't, that probably won't happen with the turn the earth. See, this is the, the turn the earth makes this so tricky. It, it, it genuinely makes this so tricky. Yep. It makes this real tricky. So the There's the bloodstained mire. The arid mesa they grabbed. Yep. I don't have good life gain against this. Veil doesn't work against this. There's the Dwarven Mine. Yup. Okay, you have one mystery card, because I know some of the cards in your hand. I don't know. I don't know how I win this. I actually just genuinely don't know how I win this. I like it when they play more lands. I like it when they play them. So they win. They pretty much win next turn. Unless I can find a soul guide lantern. Yeah, unless I can find a soul guide lantern, they win next turn. Okay. Unfortunate. If I was able to get those off for zero, that would have been ideal, but... Uh, all right. We're not going to use the green, so cycle. Okay. 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 That is something. I'll go to their upkeep. Not their draw. I will go to their upkeep. Or actually, I could go to their thing. I could go to their draw because they have multiple... Uh, loams, right? Yeah, they have multiple loams. That's hilarious. All right, that's fine. Put those away. If they dredge, they can dredge, but they can't dredge all their loams. Life from the loams. Yep, so they have one, two, three. They have six damage in hand. <sighs> six damage in hand. Okay, all right. So we are, we're getting somewhere. We are getting somewhere. Um, Dwarven Mine is a thing, but I have the Fatal Push for it, which is nice. We are getting somewhere. This is, this is a, a, a hairpin type of moment right now. Airpin type of moment right now. No veil in hand, so this archive trap is better cast now. I guess. Truly, I guess. It's you're not, you know, you're not doing twice the damage. Right? Does he gain haste? No. Just just do this. Like I, I'm safe from them drawing one land. Uh, I'm safe from them drawing one land. They'll probably they'll probably start putting lands back into their deck too, in all fairness. But I, I have to I have to force the point. And and the troubling part right now is that they can they can deal with multiple like here's the tricky thing. Once I get them real low, they can hmm, I didn't even think about that. 
once that once I get them real low, the preordain was actually much better here. Once I get them real low, they can turn the earth and pretty much confirm land drops. That's the scary thing. They can they can pretty much confirm land drops. And that's what I have to be worried about here. What are they? Did they flash back? From graveyard. Targeting turn, ren, and ren. They can keep looping turns. That's actually kind of scary. So I need... Hold on top. That That is kind of a solution. But they have to keep looping turns. I don't know. It's just like so close to that point where it just doesn't really matter. Ren is also a frustrating point here. I guess I'm supposed to just hold up spell pierce. Because here's the thing. They can just flash back the turn and then they have one turn in hand that they can keep. Yeah, I need, I need soul guide lantern. I, I need to aggressively be drawing and I need soul guide lantern. Uh, do they just have it? They just have five lands. Okay, Dorvin mine. Aaron Mesa Bloodstained Mire. Yeah, maybe they just drew it, honestly. There's not much I'm doing against it. Yeah, Seismic Assault. Losing to Seismic Assault in 2024. Yeah, all right. GG's. GG's, GG's. Gonna game four here. Always on the plate. Why can I never keep a seven if this was... Come on. This was just a blue source. Um, this hand would have slapped. I can't keep this hand. Wow. Mull to five. Nice, nice start. Nice start. Um, all right. Yeah. You know what? I'm just going all in. I, I'm, I'm going all in. I'm going all in. Going all in on the mill. All in on the mill opponent. Come on. Fetch me. Fetch me, fetch me, fetch me. Uh, let's see here. Uh, great. All right, GG's. Um, okay, well, Veil of Summer is going to be a great uh, great thing for this. Uh, wish I kept Spell Pierce. <laughs> Spell Pierce would have been a great keep, but oh well. So they probably take our Crab and don't fetch again. Yes. Take our Crab and don't fetch again. All right, at least we can force him to fetch. At least we can force him to fetch. All right, what is our opponent doing right now? Generally speaking, any type of thoughts he's matchup is is not not that winnable for us. Okay. Um. Okay. People might call this early conceding, but I'm kind of exhausted with this with with this gameplay. So I'm gonna make a big assumption and uh, yeah, just uh, that type of gameplay just exhausts me. So we're gonna we're we're just gonna avoid all of that. Um uh probably a matchup where we can get away with that too. Yeah, probably a matchup where we can get away with that too. Uh I'll drop the spell pierces and then well, no, 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 no. We'll drop the preordains. Uh yeah. Yeah, we're gonna play like that. Yeah. Just uh mull to five double thoughtsies. Just I don't care what y'all are saying. I know in the YouTube, I'm gonna hear some comments like, you, you conceded too early. No, what? No, I don't, I, I don't care that much. It's no, no, no. Just let, let it be. <laughs> it's just, I'm not playing against that. There's, there's, there's better things to concern. There's better things to, to use up my, my mental energy with and just take the L instead of having to work backwards. This ain't no pro tour game. Like just take the L and go on. Um, let's see here. Um, yeah, honestly, Veils, uh, generally speaking, if it's a Thoughtseize deck, it's probably some type of mid range and Snaring Bridge can't be too bad if it's Scam. If it's, if it's like Jund, like maybe I should have waited for that, I guess. But if it's Jund, then, you know, 
ensnaring bridge is is not going to be that great they're going to be playing Poseju. they're going to be playing some type of permanent removal like an assassin's trophy or something and you know you know you know you know um veil of summer is just going to be pretty good as an opener yeah i'm honestly just going to run this because of veil of summer it's going to be pretty good if we get scammed if they, if they have the scam nuts it's just going to be good um opponent does what here they maul okay i like that i like that i'm a big fan so four fetches you know it's three spells but the veil takes us pretty far if they if they're oh they're, they're trying to scam they're, 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 they're trying to scam watch this not be scam watch this be like food and it was a very winnable matchup okay mold of five more cards to mill all right let's get out of breeding pool Let's get out of a breeding pool. Let's get out of breeding, 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 breeding pool. Let's get out of breeding pool. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the one. That's the one. That's the one. That's the one. Let's see. Let's see. Opponent. That's the, that's the, that's what I was thinking. That's what I was thinking. Let's, 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 let's switch this around a little bit. Let's, let's switch this around a little bit. Let's, let's hit him with the veil. Let's switch this around a little bit. This is my game. I could I could very much still lose here. Putting that out there. Very much could still lose. What's what I love about this is yeah, they can not dead after all, but it's not a blink. That thing still needs to die. Right? Beautiful. Still needs to die. You cannot target me with that. You gotta target yourself. No no. No! No, I have six! No! I gave them back the play. It's okay. It's okay. It's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. We can still, we can still win this. We can still win this. We can still win this. If they still decide to do some nonsense here. Okay. Okay. It's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. It's truly not the end of the world. I could just be playing thing here, but it's truly not the end of the world. All right. Hold on now. It's truly not the end of the world. Um, We're going to hold up spell pierce here. Because they're on a they're on a one lander. They're on a one lander. Okay. Alright. Trust me. It's not the end of the world. Okay. No. I'm saying no. F6 through. I'm still determined to win this game. I'm still very determined to win this game. Okay, take four. Okay. Okay. Play the ensnaring bridge. I could definitely I could definitely be much farther. I could be I could be playing my other ensnaring bridge right now. Um I could be one card less and this this grief would not be hitting me. I will say that. I will say that. That is a that is a big difference in situations right now. But that's okay. So we just keep blocking that. We just keep blocking that. So I don't want to pull myself in bolt range if I don't have to, but who knows? Let's see. Let's see what ends up happening here. Um, That's like kind of unfortunate, but it's okay. Um, do, 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 do. Let's see what... No, but we don't want the attack to go through. See what our opponent does. See what our opponent does. I'd be in a much better situation right now. I'd be in a much better situation right now. Um, okay, let's see what our opponent does. Let's see what our opponent does. Truly not the end of the world. Let's block here. I'm a bolt away. We're gonna go to blocks. Just 
destroy this creature. I'm gonna go to blocks. They have it, they have it. I, I should be at four more life, essentially. I should be at four more life here. Uh, okay. I don't mind that. That's fine. That's fine. That just means it's it's not attacking. It's it's fine. They they have to take a card out of my hand. Yeah, they have to take a card out of my hand. So that's fine. Yeah, they have to take a card out of my hand. Yeah. So they'll take they'll take the other Oh, they won't take the other bridge. Interesting. Okay. All right, block. Move to blocks. So I don't mind that. I I don't I don't mind that at all. Ooh. Do like that. Uh see that kills me. That kills me. I can't I can't kill that. Um How many of these do they have? I can get empty handed here. The thing I'm scared about is Orcish Bowmasters. The thing I'm truly scared about is Orcish Bowmasters. I should be at four more life. I'd be I'd actually be able to potentially make a comeback in this game. That's the thing. Now I can't crack this. Because of Orcish. Croxa. That's a scary thing. Uh there's not much I'm doing about Croxa, but Orcish Bowmasters I can play around. Double bridge, double bridge, double bridge. Oh, lordy lord. Um, lordy lordy lord. The full stops, full stops begin me. Full stops begin me. Full stops begin me. All right, opponent. What do you got? You got the bolt to win the game? That's that's really all this is. Bolt, Croxa. No, no bolt, Croxa. Okay. Okay, love these. Now, now I can cast my archive traps. Now I can cast my archive traps, which is nice. Okay, let's see if we can't bring this one back. Let's see if we can't bring this one back. I'd really love it if we could. I'd really love it if we could. That'd be great. That would just make up for everything here. That would just make up for everything here. No, <laughs> don't fetch. Don't fetch. All right, fine. Rockets Theater is... I, I, I'm a fan of that. I'm a fan of that. Okay, good. Good. All right. I was going to say, if they kept it on top, that would have been a little scary. Would have been a little scary. Let's see. Maybe... Hopefully, they don't They don't find it. Hopefully, they don't find it. That's the, that's the hope. That's the hope and dream. Okay. So, they did not find it. Uh, they did find a Douthy, though. So, okay. Did find a Douthy. Okay, these are not genuinely these are not cards I want to find. Like genuinely speaking, these are not not cards I want to find. Okay. Okay, all right, 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 all right. <laughs> genuinely, these are not cards I want to find. Um opponent took a visions there, which was I guess interesting. I guess I don't blame them. Visions would have drawn me into into some some amount of good stuff. Not finding the bolts, not finding what they need here. Okay, uh, I mean, that does something, I guess. That does something, I guess. If they thought sees me here, you know. They do get to cast a Veil of Summer, though. If I if I do this, they do they do get access to a Veil of Summer through the Douthy. Could be game ending. Could be game ending. Let's see. Could be game ending. Could be game ending. Okay, opponent. Archive trap. Not not bad. Honestly, not bad. Not terrible. Not terrible. Not terrible. Archive trap. Let's just let's just mill them here. Let's just mill them here. See if we can't get those bolts out. See if we can't get those bolts out. Oh no, no, one lightning bolt was milled. One lightning bolt was milled here. One lightning bolt was milled here. Okay, no lightning bolt was drawn. 
I guess. This thing is, I don't see Orcish Bullmasters. That's that's the thing here. I don't see Orcish Bullmasters. Yeah, see, the thing is, is I don't see Orcish Bullmasters. But I don't want to get got by Bullmasters. That's the thing. Honestly, I think I just go for it. I think I just go for it. I'm, I'm so, like, I don't think I'm supposed to hold this. We just go for the dub. If they have the Fatal Push, then so be it. I just, I don't know how they're doing one damage to me at instant speed. Other than Bullmasters. And unless they have all four Bullmasters in their hand. I just don't want to give them the opportunity to find Bolt. Pretty sure I have one more basic. That works too. Under City Sewers. If they cast Bowmasters, I can Veil. The fact that we actually brought that back was insane. Holy, let's go, let's go. The fact that we actually brought that back was insane. 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 All right. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens here. <sighs> the fact that... Oh, I can't even believe you brought that back. The fact that... Oh my lord. I just... I don't know. I was just... I was sweating. <laughs> let me tell you, let me tell you, I was sweating. They was not ready for Veil. Let me tell you, Veil, double bridge. Both the bridges came into play there. They're, they're definitely they're definitely thinking about how they want to board out here. Um, I kind of don't want Visions, honestly. I think I just want the Preordains. Uh, I guess we didn't we didn't change it out, but I guess we want more resources against the Thoughtseize deck just by default. So, um... Mulligan. Wow, we're going to mold a five. We're really going to mold a five here. Okay. I mean, if there ever was a mold of five, that was good. It's this one. I'll drop spell pierce and a swamp. I'll keep the, I'll keep the removal and the breeding pool. Um, and then I can, I can fetch into, uh, thing next turn if I need to. Yeah. I'll, I'll run this and. Maybe I draw breeding pool because I'm on the draw. I can I can go into either one. It's kind of just like I, I need um probably just drop two lands, honestly. Like undercity sewers and breeding pool, probably. No, undercity sewers and swamp. Yeah. They did multiple five on their side, so that is a that is a pretty big win on our end. Um, so here's the decision point now, right? Like they could thing me, but I think in general, the holding up the like going to watery grave and if they do nothing, going into undercity sewers is the correct thing here because I have spell pierce. I have spell pierce. So I didn't see Orcish Bullmasters being demonstrated here. So that's kind of nice. Um, I actually don't want that. I think I think I do want, because I have the Fatal Push, I think I do want um, another land. Uh, that's fine. So I'll shock this in. We can hold up both. And then I can just I can just burn my visions here, try and find a uh, try and find a bridge. Let's see. I'd really love to make the comeback against Scam here. Uh, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Let's redraw. Yeah, we just can't... We can't really afford to play around the Blood Moon. That's the thing. Based on how we're kind of built out here. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, we're losing both regardless. All right. Whatever. So this is gonna be a this is gonna be a pretty big free turn for them. This is gonna be a pretty big turn for them, in terms of like what they have access to. I lose access to my veil and my fatal push this turn. So, yeah, pretty good thoughts this turn. 
Uh, I guess maybe if it was the other way, like I, I didn't need to play crab there. I just, I just think it applies some pressure. It might force like a heat or like a fatal push out of their hand, but, uh, interesting that they didn't take a thing here. I guess they might have. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, future stuff, I should be able to answer pretty, pretty well. Uh, bridge. I don't, I don't know if I want to force bridge just yet. I don't, I don't need to force bridge just yet. I don't need to force bridge just yet. Okay. Bounce this to my hand. Top this for black. Cast this, kill that, and then pass through. Again, I'm not too enthusiastic about forcing it just yet. Honestly, if they just cast a black spell, I might just veil for value just to redraw. Having to deal with multiple of these a turn is like really frustrating. All right. Don't search. They don't search. And unfortunately, that's attacking. All right. That's great, actually. That's, a, that's great. Perfect. We're able to kill that. So that doesn't ramp them. That's great. Because my other concern is they have like a shielded in hand. And there's not much I'm doing about that. Um, I just use my fiddle push there. And I think it's I think it's pretty valuable there. So just keeping threats off the board. Okay, did they discard two things there? Uh discard swamp and blood crypt, yeah. Yeah. They just had like just like dead cards in hand. That's that's good on not well good and bad, I guess. Didn't have many options. We were able to kind of get rid of some of the problematic things, but and for again, unfortunately, we're on a mall of five. Um, that does help our ensnaring bridge situation, but I do want to be wary of, of potentially just getting griefed. Um, again, we just don't need to force it right now. Um, Angrat's uh, thing is a great answer to to Veil. I will say. Yup. That's great. Yep. That's going to fizzle there. I love that. So we're going to bring that in tapped. And then now we play our bridge. And then we force them to just have an answer to it. Obviously, you know, starting starting next turn, they can start creating copies of grief. Um, and that's that's the scary thing off this uh, off this Magus token here. Uh, fix Kiki. Oh, 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 they could potentially fetch here could potentially fetch here. I don't know why they would. I don't know why they would, but that would help us get empty handed. Would help us get empty handed because the reflection of Kiki attacking is also a, a very relevant thing too. Don't play Shieldred. <sighs> the last card in their hand was K Command. Okay. All right, all right, all right. The last card in their hand was K Command. Lordy Lord. Yeah, that's that's game. That's truly that's game. Um, there's nothing I'm doing about that. Uh cycle, right? To try and find an answer. See, they just copy reflection. I mean, I gotta force them to see the line. I, I, I have to force them to see the line. But like, what they're what they do is they just create a copy of a uh, thing, and they obviously, if they do that, I'm just if they if they create a copy of the grief, I'm just gonna kill the grief. Um, but Magus of the Moon is is game ending here. If they play it first, even better. They play it first, even better. Because then then I'm still alive. But they have to turn one Blood Moon, too. I, I didn't even take the name. Um, but... Cole against Command be the last card in their hand. <laughs> ah! Okay, they, they're making a mistake. They're making a mistake. Um, I, I, I always love to see that, I will say. I always love to see that. 
Problem is, though, I mean, even if they create a token copy, that's fine. But this was a mistake on their part. Yeah, that was a mistake on their part. So now, now I'm I'm still in the game. I'm still in the game right now. Um, interesting that they're not going to create a copy and they're just going to go for damage, which I guess I don't blame them. I guess I don't blame them, truly. Double crab. So now we're empty-handed. Now they're just going to start swinging, really. Now, uh, uh, my second bridge would be... Would be God tier here. My second bridge would be God tier here. Honestly, I'm happy I didn't take out the Visions because the Visions of Beyond would be a great draw here. It would be a fantastic draw here. Uh, I mean, okay. Functionally at this point, I feel like it's kind of the same card. Okay, all right. <sighs> Why though? Oh, I guess they'll create a copy on my on my upkeep here, on my draw. They'll create a copy on my draw. That's smart. Yeah, they'll create a copy on my draw. Uh, yeah, that's GG's. Um, wow. Yeah, they just they just have to swing, I guess. Um. And again, it's haste too. It doesn't even matter how I do this. Okay. All right. GG's. I, I think we actually played that really well. We actually managed to make a comeback in game two. Good enough for me. Let's go into game three. See if we can 3-2 this. Keepable hand on the draw. I mean, we'll run it. We'll run it. All right. Opponent's not doing any companion nonsense. Nothing over 60 cards. Swamp. God, I hate thoughts these decks. Uh, I hope this is Coffer. Well, I don't hope this is Coffers. I don't have Field of Ruin, but all right. There goes the turn one play. Um, we'll just go Polluted Delta into Sewers. Uh, looks of it. Yeah. Polluted Delta into Sewers. At least we can keep our Otawara. We can treat Otawara like a spell. Which is good. Oh, this is, uh, this is Coffers. Okay. Um, possible, possible. Very doable. Coffers is doable. Just, okay, yeah, Jace is a, Jace is a spell I don't mind. Just, uh, can be a tough matchup. Um, just need a tough mat, like, hmm. I need, to, I need some things to work my way. I, again, stealing game one is always, always the good thing here. Um... That means you guarantee at least one game you're you're on the uh, draw. Yeah, I need blue sources. I don't need swamps. Um, I need blue sources, not swamps. Uh, that's not bad. So that that helps me enable my my drown here. So if they just go Karn next turn, um, that helps me enable. So that's going to be good. I'm not going to fetch now. Um, yeah, I'm not going to fetch now. I'm just going to fetch on their car in turn. So I got one coffers. Uh, this is definitely going to be an extra paid. Uh, it's going to be like an extra paid veil matchup. So. What's nice here, I don't even need to fetch my polluted delta if I don't want to. So. Let's see. Let's see what happens. We can we can save it. Uh, Yeah, I'll fetch it then. If you're going to do that, I will fetch. Grab an island. Then next turn, like I pretty much just keep holding up Drown until I resolve Jace. Like until I can go Drown, resolve Jace. Does one ring need to enter the battlefield for... Yeah. yeah. It's an ETB that's like relies on a cast trigger. Um... Yeah, I kind of want my Jace here. Because that's what they're realistically going to take. I kind of want my Jace here. Love that. They're behind on lands. I love that. Ooh, mission briefing too. Yeah, so we're not, we're not going to cast anything just yet. I'll hold back. Hopefully I can, I can just find more lands here. Uh, I would really love to just cast Jace, hold up the counter spell. Okay, nothing to cast, nothing to cast. Okay, uh, Preordain is nice. See if I can find some lands here. Hmm. Okay. 
Play this. Play this. Lose the old Tawara, but you know. You know. Sure. Yeah, this is going to be a deck that has a ton of removal. So our crabs aren't going to stick around too long. There is something to be said about ditching the crabs, but it's not like I have a, a large enough mass of removal spells. Like this isn't like Death Shadow where you can get away because they're like the aggressor. Um, get away with your own removal, but. Okay. Uh, sure. So a non-creature spell and then you draw a card. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Hopefully I can top deck a land here and then I play Jace and I essentially win this game in my opinion. That's not fun. All right. Well, keep going. Keep going. I'm not going to burn this visions. It's genuinely not worth it. Like we're, we're kind of in the driver's seat here. Um... They on top play Karn or something. I don't know. Look, just get rid of it. Truly just get rid of it. I, I don't want to deal with that. I, I, I don't want to deal with that. Okay. No land drop. No land drop. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. 14 cards in yard. Okay. All right. Can't play. Well, would have been nice. Would have been nice. I'll say that. Would have been nice. Um. Now I'm kind of... I'm kind of stuck like i, I kind of like it's like if they resolve karn like i lose the game that that's you know i'm ahead but it's like they do that i lose the game you know yeah like stuff like that right if they resolve stuff like this i lose the game um i actually don't mind this i actually don't mind the field put on top out of the lock. Castle mission briefing. Counter. Destroy this. Right. Next turn, what we can do is we can field of ruin and still uh thing here. Yeah, we definitely get the Urberg out. I don't want them top decking in anything insane here. Um, I'll probably just get my swamp here. What are you doing in my swamp? What are you doing in my swamp? Um, I will minus two you and just draw a card. I can just do that again next turn. Because this way, if the demolition field gets put into the yard, if they want a demo field, then they're not going to have um, Crypt Incursion, probably one of the worst cards I could draw right now, truly. Um, if they want to demo field me, then they're going to put 20 cards in there and then I can draw three cards. What do you got? What do you got for that much? There's no way. There's no way you have like, yeah, uh, I see what you're casting. To deal three damage to it. I think you need to exile one more card though. Yeah, I think you need to exile three cards. I was going to say, I think you just want to do that on your turn. I see what you're doing. It's going to add a card to their yard and I'm going to draw three cards. I understand what they're doing here, but. Or were they trying to cast a thing? All right. Uh. What are they doing? Like, what are they doing? <laughs> They're so lost. They're so confused as to what they need to do. All right. Sunken Citadel to activate your lands. All right. Activate. Right. Um. I mean, I'm going to just draw three cards. If you have another bow master, so be it. This is actually, uh, I didn't think about it like that. Yeah, the Bullmasters kills my Jace. All right, good. Not punished. Never punished. Um, yeah, I didn't. I didn't think about it like that. But all right. So I guess they don't have Bullmasters. 
I'm a fan. Well, just in case they misclick, I'm not doing that again. Not on my turn. I'm not doing that again on my turn. Let's see what they do first. Um, nope. I'm good. I'll pass on that one. Like, truly, I'll pass on that one. <laughs> All right, so we're pretty far ahead at this point. We can still lose to a Karn coming down. So we do want to be careful on that front, but we're able to kind of navigate our way through. I don't know if this is a favored matchup, honestly. I think it all depends on how things are built up, how you draw things out. Opponent on the upkeep here. And I guess it depends on what people do here, so... Uh, so I'll draw three in response. Okay. All right. Fine. Uh, okay. So only for two. Um, uptick. Done. Then what we'll do is we'll play this. Pretty sure I have one more basic, right? I'm like 90% sure I have one more basic. Yeah, I do. All right. Okay. Um, okay. In that case... Could I have one there? If I went like mill three, mill three, mill three, mill nine. Uh, they've been at 21. Could have milled them for 15. No. Definitely don't want them doing all that for free. But while I still have field ruin targets, I might as well use this. Um, I guess if, if this gets thought seized, it's just like. It's just better off being played, right? I, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, I made a mistake. All right. Jesus. Okay. All right. I, I actually don't know what I'm doing. I actually... <laughs> I thought it was pick the one to sacrifice. I'm actually dumb. I'm actually dumb. It's always pick the one to keep, Shaf. It's always pick the one to keep. My mind is melting. It's been like almost two hours we've been playing this league. I just... Oh, Lord. It's actually been more. It's actually been more. For those of you watching, like, I, yo, I've been I've been going on for a hot minute. I've been going for a hot minute. There's been pauses in between. I apologize. I apologize. If we lose this game because of that, that's going to be quite the thing. It's going to be quite the thing. Could have milled three more cards, I guess. Oh, Lordy Lord. Um, I'm pretty much gone through all my fetchables at this point. Field of Ruin is pretty good here. Yeah, Field Rune is pretty good here. Karn the Great Creator. Uh, they can start locking some things down. Um, they can lock down my my Jace. So I guess my Jace wouldn't have been it. Well, I would have been able to draw three cards. So there is a big difference. Pithing Needle on the Jace. Yeah, I would have been able to draw some cards. But let's see. My Otawara's already gone. I don't know. I, I need to find some cards now. Okay, they're empty handed, but they found a Karn, so. That does work. What do I have as a fetchable? See, I would have had lethal now. If I was three cards deeper, I would have had lethal. Yeah, I would have had lethal. So they're drawing their last card. The question is, do they do they have the ability to win here? Or not their last card, but I would add lethal. If I minus that Jace, I'm making making big play errors. Making making big play errors. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Playing playing magic for this long. So I'm not meant for longer events. I'm not meant for longer events. Sitting down this long. But I'm making excuses. I'm making excuses. It's okay. Play the game. Play the game. Yeah, destroying my lands isn't necessarily like a win condition here. Um, they need to start tutoring for some bigger stuff. But the question is, can they even like cast it? Um, I guess that, that is a question for them. Because they have one, two, three, four, five, six. It's like, what can they cast out of their board? Okay, we after all that blundering, you managed to win. Oh, Lordy Lord, please, please, please play this carefully. Shaft, please play this carefully. Shaft, please, please, please. I beg you. Just focus in. Just focus in. For two seconds. Focus in. Um, We can drop Preordains. Maybe like two Fatal Pushes. 
Because, like, yeah, Orcage Bowmasters is there, but, you know, this is what we want to play, too. All right. Um, I don't see Bridge really being a thing. Soul Guide Lantern. I mean, look, if we need a Soul Guide Lantern, they would have looked for an Elixir of Immortality there. They would have looked for an Elixir of Immortality and ended us there. And I might have just quit this whole league right there in embarrassment. But, yeah. Uh, let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. Bring this game back. Bring this game back. Let's bring this game back. All right, let's see what happens from our opponents here. How are they gonna how are they gonna attack against us? I mean it's a Karn board, right? So the mulligan in shouldn't be that deep. It, it really shouldn't be that deep at all. I mean, okay. It, it's it's a removal heavy matchup. I don't think I should be like I have double field of ruin and crabs. Like like the crabs are gonna die, but I have double field of ruin. Come on. Double field of ruin against this deck. Looks like they're mulligating. Yeah, they maul. They maul once here. Uh, okay. It's good. Start off with two more cards in them. Sure. So I'm not going to play on my crab. They'll take out a crab. Um, they'll take out a crab. I won't play it. They're probably not happy about the double field of ruin, but that's okay. Thought sees me away. Thought sees me away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thought sees me away. Let's play that. I have no veil. They, they don't, they, you know what's great here? They don't know that I'm on green. Um, I didn't grab my breeding pool at all that last round. So they don't know why I have Veil. Um, that can that can really get them. So that's going to be important there. Uh, and especially with them on Field of Ruins, this might actually be a tough plan. I, I didn't actually think this completely through on that end, that our Breeding Pool just being exposed to Field of Ruins is quite the problem. Yeah, I'll put that on top. Because we kind of need to enable some stuff here. So this might actually force some action on their part. If I play the breeding pool, but it, it might actually force some action, but it means our veils are dead and I don't really want that to be a thing. I don't really want that to be a thing. Okay, so they'll definitely like just fatal push our crab. Right? That's why you took one of the crabs. You would fatal push the other, right? Oh opponent, come on. Come on. Let's uh let's get her let's get her done. Mm. Bowl masters. Bowl masters. Bowl masters. Makes this vision's a little tricky. Makes this vision's a little tricky. What you got for me? Yeah, I guess, I guess they know like I'm not spell piercing them, right? Uh, that's kind of nice. They're on like a one lander probably or like a two lander. Love that. Oh, a two lander. Um, I'll block this. If they go land bow masters, then, you know, then at least I can stop that. Okay, good. So in this case, so I really like that. Um... So I might, I might hit him with this and then, yeah, I, I have to kind of destroy the bull masters here to kind of let that go. Yeah. I kind of have to destroy the bull masters here. Let's see. And then I'll hold up field of ruin. It's fine. But again, I don't want to expose the breeding pool. I, I don't need to expose the breeding pool. Yep. I'm not falling for that. I'm not falling for that. Not me, says the frog. Not I. That is kind of dumb. 
right let's just let's just do that right um so we'll make them use the mana right see if they want to use it and then if they have a bull masters here we can kind of just respond in, in a couple ways let's see let's see let's see let's see yes baited ja baited nice draw three cards yes i love that um now we can take out karn cityscape leveler was brought into the deck there's no karn in here I'm actually shocked. Well, I take out the land combo, I guess. I'm actually shocked. There's no Karn in here. I'm actually shocked. Uh, Yeah, I mean... I, I, don't, I don't need to do it now. All right. No, there is a Karn. What am I saying? There is a Karn. Oh, Lord. I was literally about to screw that up so hard. Okay, so we just need to shut off like a whole wish board. Um, that's what we need to do here. Go to your draw. Double Bull Masters is kind of annoying, but it's okay. Three Bull Masters might get a little ridiculous. We killed one. There's an, at least another in there. Yeah, so... How do we do this? We, like, we killed one. Where is that one that we killed? I don't I actually like there it is. Um there's Karn the Great Creator. Alright, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna extirpate. Targeting the Karn the Great Creator. So we can just like the long game is like two shieldreds are already gone. I'm assuming they have like one more. I should have checked from there. Uh, oh no, I didn't have access to the deck before, um, but I did mill them out, but I, I'm assuming there's like one more. So Karn in hand, that's great. There's another Bowmasters. Wow, okay. Um, we will not be looking to draw any more cards. Okay, so the long game is largely ours. Their only other win conditions are these marches. Oh no, March isn't a win condition. Their only win, well, uh, Insatiable Avarice is something too. Avarice, Avarice, Avarice. YouTube comments are going to hate me for that one. Um, all right. Bowmasters it is. So I don't... I, I, I'm i just going to take the damage. Truly, I'm just going to take the damage. Yeah. We know what's in their hand. Just going to take the damage. Yeah. You can play that. Get some additional damage in. And deal thing to me. Take four. Yep. Yep. So based on their hand... Yeah, we do want to just maximize what we're milling here. Um, I still don't need to show them like the... I truly don't need to show them the green. If they somehow bring this one back, I truly don't need to show them the thing. So now with this, I know that at least I can minimize. Okay, the, aver uh, the Avarice is gone. Um, the March, though, is, is a win condition. Yeah, the march is a win condition. Yeah, they played a land per turn. Okay, so now they can only attack me for three a turn. So I'll block the others. Yeah. And then we'll block. Block here, block here. At least what's nice though is like, okay, so our crab, our one of our crabs are coming back at us, but the other one's going through. So that's kind of nice there. Yeah, they'll play one ring. And I like I, I like this because if they do for some reason draw cards, that's just on them. Okay, so that is essentially GG's. Oh no, I have lethal. Okay, <laughs> GG's. We three two the league. <laughs> GG's. We three two the league. <laughs> all right, all right. We three two the league. We three two the league. All right. Um. All right. Woo. All right. Honestly, you know, some bad matchups aside, we were able to do the mill. We were able to do the mill thing. Um, all right. We we're able to meme them out. We we're able to meme them out. All right. Three, two, the league. Maybe as a bonus just at the end here, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll open up the treasure chest. Why not? Open one of these suckers up. Open one of these suckers up. All right. Some play points. 
a Vadrick, a Venser. This is a real Venser. I don't even know. All right. Okay. All right. GG's.